Hello friends, today I want to show you Poseidon Slingshot. I call it Poseidon Slingshot because it looks a little bit like a fishtail here, a little bit like Poseidon Spear here, although of course we're missing a third prong, but it's a slingshot after all. And because it's Poseidon Slingshot, I wrapped it in blue rubber and also attached the blue Theora band. And also I'll tell you something about Poseidon, um, he loves golf, because this is a golf chucking slingshot. See, that's the reason for this big, big pouch. Uh, punched a lot of holes through it, so it's a little bit lightweight. And it's really designed for the pouch that holds the golf ball just like this, so it can really shoot the golf ball. The golf ball is fairly heavy. It weighs more than my biggest 20 millimeter lead balls. Um, therefore, you need real strong rubber. So I used a lot of the zero band material. Let's shoot with it. So first we, pre we prepare the catch box. I've changed it a little bit so that it fits with the standard kind of cardboard things that prevent the balls from jumping out. And um, I constructed this little slot mechanism. So I can simply slide this in here like this. Okay, the first thing we do is put on the glasses. Actually I found these. These are efficient but not too expensive, they cost about 13 euros. But since they go all around the head, there's no danger that a snapping rubber can slip it up your head and then hurt your eye. So I recommend always wearing a glass set uh, like this one. Then we load it with the golf ball. That was almost 44 meters per second. Not bad. So the slingshot is very, very stable. As you see, it's made from hardwood plywood multiplex and it's laminated with aluminium. It's aluminium that's from a stepping board, I think. And it reminds me on a ladder in the swimming pool. That's why I chose it. But it also makes the entire slingshot pretty much indestructible. The hardwood in combination with the metal, that's an unbreakable slingshot. I really like it a lot. I think it's a fine piece of my collection. It's also an efficient golf shooting device. I mean, I know that good golfers can probably do more than 44 meters per second, but I'm not sure if, it, if they're that precise. Do you think they could hit a target like this from 10 meters? I'm skeptical. Um, I hope that I find a golf club that lets me test this in the open. That could be fun. Anyway. Thanks for watching and bye bye.